Good morning, everybody. I am about to make uh, one of my incense blends. It's called Into the Woods, but I wanted to show you most of my stash for creating incense. I have a lot of, lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. This is my blend. I've already powdered down. There's cedar and patchouli and sage and mac maco powder and many, many other things that I put in this blend. I will show you the making process and I'll show you how it ends up on a different video. Have a scentful day. This is Alan from Crystal Magic Cave and I have been busy powdering up most of these. Some of these, um, I only had the powder. This is for my Into the Woods blend. It smells like the great outdoors. Anyway, I'm going to mix this up. Um, always use a wooden utensil and mix it thoroughly because you want every part of every ingredient to be mixed in here uh, very well. So break up any pieces that are not mixed. I will set aside some of this for my dry incense burner. I wanted to uh, try this out before I made it wet. And actually, why don't I show a picture of that when I do that? So I'm going to continue mixing for a few minutes until I feel this is well mixed. There's some dragon's blood powder there. I'm trying to break those little lumps up. Wow, I can smell it already. It smells amazing. All right, see you in a bit. Wow, this is beautiful. It smells like a campfire with a sweetness of uh, dragon's blood and pinion pine resin. Mm, it's definitely the outdoors. I really like this. I don't think I'm going to touch it at all. Okay, I'm gonna start to add water so I can make some cones out of this dry mix into the woods. Very happy with the way it came out. And now I'd like to make some cones. So I'm gonna start adding water just a little bit at the time. I don't want too much because it's easy to overdo it. A lot of people will mix this with their hands. I will, but I'm gonna use gloves. I have a cut on my thumb and I don't want to get any of this in there. And we sort of are looking for the consistency of a dough that you squeeze in your hand and it stays into a ball and doesn't fall apart and doesn't crack. Wow, this smells so good. This is sort of a tedious process but well worth it in the end. I hope the table's not shaking too much. I'm trying to pull back from doing that. Seems to be the way I videotape. I need to figure out how to put this on the floor so I don't bang it around all the time. Well, maybe it makes you feel like you're you're part of the action, huh? All right. This is a very small 
hypodermic needle. This is only one milliliter at a time. Well, it's not a needle, it's just the syringe part without the needle. Starting to come together. Wow, I wish you could smell this. It is, oh, amazing. I get really tired of, you know, the incense on the market where you buy a certain smell and they all kind of smell the same. Like there's, I don't know what it is. I have some sandalwood and I have, uh, these are of course not natural fragrance uh, incense. And I can't tell the difference between the amber and the sandalwood. They smell exactly the same. And I think it might be the base that they use. And um, I'm using distilled water here, uh, FYI, because I'm lucky enough to own a distiller and I make my own, so it's there. I use it for my coffee pot. I sometimes drink it. And now it'll be used for my incense. All right, I'm gonna put my gloves on and I will start kneading this by hand. I'll leave the camera on and if there's a lot of boring parts, I will cut it out later because I know I don't like to spend all my time watching somebody stir something for 15 minutes or so. It's sort of like you're making a crumble with butter and sugar and flour and cinnamon. It's got that same kind of feel, but smells way better. Okay, I'm gonna actually put some more water in here. We'll do three mils at a time. interesting how the dragon's blood resin really, really comes through in this blend, especially when you're adding water and also the juniper leaf. And hopefully, if these come out well, they will be for sale on my Etsy site, Crystal Magic Cave. Almost getting there, you see that? Just about there. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit more water. And I think we might be there. Still a little dry in some areas. So this takes longer using a one mil syringe, at least I don't overdo it. And if I do, it's not enough that it's gonna matter. Oh, look at that. Little more. I've always, always loved incense. Even as a small kid, I remember one of my neighbors got a little Buddha incense burner for Christmas from his parents. And I was so jealous because I wanted to have something to burn incense in too. And um, we didn't do that at my house growing up because it just wasn't part of our culture or just habits. My parents were a little bit older than I was. I should say I'm the youngest of six, so. Definitely parents were more like other people's grandparents. It wasn't a bad thing, it just was. And so they weren't really into different things. They were into providing for us in whatever way that they could. All right, let me see if I Make a ball. Yeah, 
it still needs a little bit more. It's still a little crumbly. I have to say, I'm uh, my shoulders are a little sore from yesterday making uh, the second ingredient for my kiffy, the frankincense. I was not expecting that to take such effort. Um, I had not ground frankincense by hand before and it truly is and was a labor of love and I will do it again in a second. Today, or later today, I'm going to be adding sandalwood for my third day for my Kiffy res uh, recipe. If you have not watched the other two, two just look in my list. I have a, um, a playlist for Kiffy for the making of, or I think I called it Kiffy Journey. Okay, here we go. And we have a cone. I'm probably going to do a couple different shapes. I heard that when you make them thinner and taller, they burn better. So I'm going to uh, play with that for a little bit. And I will come back and show you what we have done. So I decided to use a teaspoon. Don't use metal. Uh, use plastic or wood. Um, so I can have a uniform size of all the cones. That way uh, they'll burn evenly and look alike. Toxic. Right. So these are my incense cones. I have them on one of the racks from my Excalibur dehydrator. And I made one disc because I didn't have enough uh, to make another cone. But what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, I got about 20 out of that batch. And um, I'm very excited. I can't wait to see how they dry. Hopefully they won't crack. They actually look like they're doing pretty good. I did some that were tall and skinny and some that were just regular size. I'm also gonna try some backflow ones because I have a fun little backflow um, incense burner. So maybe I'll grab a couple of these and just put a hole in the bottom and see what happens. Or maybe I'll wait till they're solid and then I'll drill it out. That'll probably be better. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will give you the ingredients in the, let's see, where do I wanna put them? I'll do a slide at the very end. All right, Alan from Crystal Magic Cave, aloha. And it looks like the mixture was successful. It's burning quite fine. It smells incredible. Into the woods. Come visit me on Crystal Magic Cave on Etsy. And check out what I have this week. Aloha.